In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss indifference curves and give you an introduction. I'm going to discuss marginal rate of substitution. Along an indifference curve, the purple line, utility is constant along the curve. That means you're equally happy anywhere along this curve. But exchange is not constant. The way you substitute y for x is not constant. You think of utility like happiness or satisfaction. Utility is a function of consuming some x or y in this case. It could be a lot of things, but I'm going to keep it to two variables. So utility is a function of consuming a combination of x and y. A function. That means there's some type of formula that defines utility. So imagine along the x-axis you have spending time with friends and y is reading books. And the utility, your utility curve looks something like this. Along this curve is constant. But the way you trade or exchange reading books for spending time with friends is not constant. So in the difference curves... Let me put some numbers here at the bottom. Quantity of good x. And on the y-axis, we have quantity of good y. Again, utility is defined as some function of x and y, some type of combination of those two goods. The indifference curve is the purple line there. It's downward sloping. Point A is utility at point A is consuming 10x and 60y. At point B, utility is 20x and 40y, but it's equal to utility at point A. Point C, utility is 40x and 20y, and it again is equal to the previous utilities of point A and B and C. Now I'm going to talk about marginal rate of substitution. That is moving from point A to point B. How much A am I willing to give up to get this much B? So there's change in Y divided by the change in X. And this is equal to 40 minus 60 divided by 20 minus 10. This is equal to negative 20 divided by 10 plus 10. The consumer is willing to give up 20y to get 10x. The marginal rate of substitution in this case is 2. If I continue on and I go from point B to, let's say, point C, B to C, let me draw that in right there. Okay. The consumer is giving up y to get some x. The formula becomes 20 minus 40 divided by 40 minus 20, which is equal to minus 20 divided by plus 20. So this turns out to be an even exchange, and marginal rate of substitution is 1 in this case, an even exchange. Before I move on, let me examine that a little bit closer. So moving from point A to B, I give up that much Y to get that much X. But when I go from B to C, I give up the same. So point A to B is 2 to 1, and B to C is 1 to 1. Moving from A to B, I'm willing to give up 2y to get 1x, but going from B to C, it's a 1 to 1 exchange. It's even exchange, 1x for 1y. Now, if I continue on, and, and I'll add point D. So I'm going to move from C to D and calculate the marginal rate of substitution. So I look at the change in y divided by the change in x again. So that's 20 minus 10 and 40 minus 70. 
This is equal to 10 divided by 30. So the consumer is willing to go up 10y to get 30x, or a 1 to 3 ratio. Moving from point A to B, let me fade this out here real quick. So moving from point A to B, the consumer is willing to give up 2y to get 1x. But moving from C to D, the consumer is willing to give up 1y to get 3x. So as the consumer moves down the indifference curve, y is getting scarce. So if the consumer has a lot of something, they're willing to give it up easily. But if they have a limited supply, they, they're less willing to give it up. This has just been an introduction to marginal rate of substitution and indifference curves. More to come.